Welcome my beautiful friends. Today's reading is all about messages from Archangel Michael. He came in this morning and said you guys needed to hear from him. So we're going straight into your choices. Here we go. Welcome group number one. Archangel Michael is sending you messages. This is something about you gaining more control over your life. The message in general is about you moving forwards and gaining back control that you have left behind. Perhaps it doesn't feel like that to you at the moment and Archangel Michael is here to tell you that you're on the right path and that you will be achieving some goals that you wanted to achieve that you have perhaps wanted to do for a long time this might be a project of some kind for some of you this might be artwork i'm seeing that you might be getting more creative and maybe you're doubting yourself you're thinking well i'm not good enough but whatever you've started recently, keep on going. Whatever you've been thinking, start it up because it has a deep meaning. Perhaps not right now, for some of you, yes, but in the future. And it's really healing for you. This is all good news, group number one. You are certainly doing the work. Wow, well, we've got three cards we're going to look at. You are certainly doing the work and you're getting the recognition from your spirit guides. And Archangel Michael is at the forefront of everything saying, I'm, I'm leading you down this path. This is a good path for you to follow. I'm going to help you achieve a goal here. And yes, some of you, you might be feeling like, really? Me? I should be doing that? Yes, it is. It is you and you will get recognition for what you are doing. Get very clear though on your purpose. Don't be swayed by others. Just go along with your instincts, your gut feeling on it. Don't compare yourself to others because perhaps some of you have done that in the past and the end result was that you gave up on it because it just wasn't meant for you you were to follow your own intuition and this comes out very clearly again archangel michael is saying listen to your body listen to your own understanding listen to what you feel and not somebody else some of you maybe this includes working on yourself as well Perhaps some of you, I'm really drawn to this girl's tattoos and perhaps some of you are thinking of, should I be getting this tattoo? Should I go for it? I'm a little bit worried and a little bit nervous about it. Maybe it's your first one. Look, the first one might always be the most difficult one and get it on it in a place that is less sensitive. I always found your arms up the top are less sensitive than perhaps your wrists. Maybe this is some advice that you need, but go for it. Definitely go for it. It's probably um, information here for me as well. There is a great tattoo artist that has moved in next door here into a shop and I've been trying to get into him, but um, he's been so, so busy. So I'll let you guys know if I ever go and get another tattoo. Mind you, I've got lots of them, but I'm still very drawn to that. And that might be you. And you've been wondering, well, you know, should I go for it? Go for it. This is something you should be doing. Let's see what else is happening here. The signs are with you. Okay, some of you have been thinking about something, but you're procrastinating on it. And Archangel Michael is saying here, look, I'm sending these signs. I'm giving you these messages, perhaps even through your own thinking. 
but you're not acting on it. So the signs are there and he knows that you might be afraid, but don't let fear hold you back. You've got support. You've got his support. Your spirit guides are all behind you. They're backing you up. So this, this is it for you guys. This is started up now, or you perhaps will never start it up at all. Now is your time. Yeah, look at that. Second card is all about bravery. Now is your time to be really brave. I'm also hearing that your worries in regards to this are really unfounded. They, um, they will all disappear once you really start getting into it, into this project, into, for some of you, this is to do with music because I'm seeing all these notes in front of me. For others, it's general creativity. But Archangel Michael is pushing you forwards. He is encouraging you not to give up. And because it might end something else in your life, maybe you guys have to clear something from your schedule and you're thinking, well, that is such a drastic thing I'm doing. Um, perhaps you're working part time and you're pursuing some creative project that will eventually bring in the rest of the income that you need. But you're really worried about that because it means an ending. And you know, once you go work part time, you don't want to then turn around the following week or two weeks and say, oh my goodness, no, 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 I'm too scared. I want to come back full time. You know, perhaps that your position is getting filled by somebody else and you now have taken on a part time position for the future. But don't worry about this. This is nothing to worry about. Once again, there is an ending and it is an important ending and there is new beginnings. It just takes some time to get fully established. So don't worry if it doesn't take off straight away and you're going, oh no, oh no, I've done the wrong thing here. No, you haven't. You have not done the wrong thing. It will take off. But you've been going around in cycles. You've been thinking about it, not doing it, putting it on the back burner, bringing it back in, then putting it off again. <laughs> This has definitely got to happen so that you can move on from a cycle in your life that has been keeping you stuck. You just keep on going round and round and not finding your way out. Very important to move forwards from that. Because this cycle that you're stuck in, it's affecting the rest of your life. There are solutions to other problems in your life that are directly related to this bravery that I'm seeing here. This girl here, she needs to be brave. This will definitely break the cycle and then there will be clear solutions to other areas in your life. You might not think that these areas are interconnected, but often they are because once we learn a lesson, perhaps this is in courage for you, displaying courage, stepping out of your comfort zone, that's when other areas in life fall into place because now your vibrational energy, you're literally oozing courage out there. So you're going to get recognized for that and other things in your life will be much better than before. Make sure you set boundaries. Perhaps some of you, this courage means that you're also setting boundaries and not allowing other people to walk over you. That could be work related. It could be your home environment. But there is a violation of your boundaries. This is happening perhaps continuously. Perhaps that's the cycle that some of you are stuck in as well. And you simply need to get out of it to say, now, this is my time, guys. I want to go back to doing something creative. I want to paint again. I want to draw again. I want to garden again. Whatever it is, you want to start doing that thing that you've been putting off, even if it means you kind of step on somebody's toes. You're not going to help them out as much, perhaps, as you did before. This may make this fit your situation because Archangel Michael is here to tell you 
that this is the time of wonderful new ideas. These aha moments are coming towards you and they're meant to come towards you. This is where you're going to be changing your life. Archangel Michael is encouraging you to improvise. Improvise is very important for you, for all of us, because sometimes when we want to start a project and we don't have all the equipment that we need, we don't have all the tools we need, and perhaps our finances don't allow us to buy these tools just yet, improvise. Think of things you can use in the meantime. And once finances flow, that's when you can make your bigger purchases. But improvise. Don't let that stop you. Archangel Michael is saying it is important that, first of all, look at that. You find your motivation to move forwards. That's the key in bringing everything else in. Because these cycles, these cycles are coming back out again. Understand that you have been stuck in those cycles. This is giving them recognition because the key here is to recognize our cycles. Once we recognize them, we can work on them. And as the card says, honoring the cycles, you are learning from them. You're understanding what needs to be broken and that's where bravery comes back in as well. We'll pick one more card because it repeats itself. The message is the same. Archangel Michael is saying, you are a magnet for good things if you allow yourself to bring this in. If you put yourself in that position of being a magnet, more good things will come your way. Start this project. Work along with Archangel Michael. Ask him every day to watch over this project, to help you get ideas, to help you improvise whatever you need to be doing. But just go for it. It will work out and bring you great soul satisfaction and also be breaking a cycle that is perhaps karmic there and you're finally getting out of it. All the best and lots of blessings. Bye for now. Welcome, number two, messages from Archangel Michael. Okay, you guys, uh, Archangel Michael has seen that people around you are not uh, giving you the right advice. They're, they're out to um, satisfy their own needs. This will be something different for everybody, but what they're telling you is draining your energy, is draining something away from you because these people are not, they might not be overly toxic, but they're also not good. I'm just seeing that your environment, if you keep listening to them, if you keep doing this thing they're asking you to do, this will lead to depression. This will lead to anxiety. Separating yourself from those people will then help you move forward out of the cycle of even anger. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that girl. She's getting very, very angry. She's getting annoyed. She's really upset with these two that are whispering stuff in her ear that are perhaps telling her things that she wants to hear, but it's not truth. This is all about being taken advantage of and being true to yourself as this card says is the key in moving out of this cycle and eliminating or helping with some of the anxiety, the fear, the sadness that is around you. Look you guys, you have done this before. You've done these cycles. Perhaps there's past life energy sitting here where you've been going around and around doing the same thing. You're attracting these types of people that want to take advantage of you for some reason. And Archangel Michael is here to tell you no more. Cut this off. Be strong. Get out of this energy. Because you're becoming more sensitive now to energy. You're learning to understand how energy works and you are thinking about different people in your life and how they're affecting you. And it's like an aha moment 
where you know you're looking at a certain person and you're going, I know you're not good for me, but I don't know why. Go with your gut feeling and perhaps set some boundaries there. Sometimes these people are members of our family, but you can still set boundaries. If it's people that you have uh, contact with, they're telling me, and um, they're not directly in your life, consider separation. Consider moving away from them. Perhaps you don't even need to move away, but it's more of a separating your energies. Because once we, if we talk to somebody almost every day, every second day, and perhaps it's just once a week for some of you, but we form a deeper connection with that person, what happens is that our energy field gets drained then perhaps for the whole week till we meet them again and the whole cycle starts over again. And this is what it's saying. It's going round and round. And you need to also disconnect yourself energetically. Some cord removal would be very good between you and whoever you recognize this person or the people here to be in your life. Archangel Michael can help you with that court separation I'm hearing. Ask him to step in, ask him to remove the courts between the two of you and make sure that you bring in a lot of light into your environment, into your surroundings, into your own energy field as well. Yes, yeah, look at that. Look, look at how interesting this card is. This one is, do you have these people around you? They're whispering in your ear. They're wanting things. Look at where they are now. Maybe this visual image can help you in meditation to understand that you are separating. If you have a deeper connection to this person, you can do this also by placing yourself directly into a energetic room with them talk to them let everything out that you've stored up that you've never said to them understand that they might not fully accept things that you're saying but in this room in this energetic virtual room you're putting yourself into you can easily let your feelings go. You can then look at that person. If there is any forgiveness that you need to extend to them, extend that forgiveness to them because you're doing that to help yourself move away. You have let all your emotions out when you talk. You have then separated your energy by saying to them, I forgive you, but now I'm sending you out the back door of that room. I'm shutting that door because I do not wish to have further interaction with you in this life or any of my future lives. I'm letting you go even from all my past lives. I am forgiving. I am releasing. And then send a lot of light to yourself. A lot of light into that situation. A lot of love to yourself to heal the wound that has been caused and then walk out the front door of that room and send the room away in white light. See it all dissolving. This is a good way of separating healing emotions and you may have to do this a few times in order to really get everything off your chest and ask Archangel Michael to be to be present there in that room with you to help you cut any connections that need to be cut to help you to allow yourself to forgive on a deeper level this is an important step in your journey it'll help you move forward it'll separate you from the, these energies around you Archangel Michael is your supporter here because look, you need to do this. You need to examine this because your energy field, you guys are empaths and you tend to attract negative energies. Work with your own protective field. Bring in light. Bring in the energy of love around you. See yourself sitting in a pink energy bubble full of love. 
Make sure that on the outside of that bubble you visualize a mirror-like reflective surface and you see or you set the intention that any negative connections will just be reflected back to source. Wherever they came from, this will be reflected back because you do not wish them to connect with you any further. Let's see what else Archangel Michael wants to tell you here. Some of you, you might be asking, well, um, this has happened all my life and now I'm at this particular age and why, why do I find this out now? Why didn't this happen earlier? But there were some very important lessons that you wanted to learn, you wanted to understand, you wanted to free yourself from and it is all about divine timing that you are understanding your knowledge the wisdom you have gained through your own pain perhaps this is very important to pass on to others so that you can perhaps prevent others from going through the same issues that you have faced perhaps for many years for some of you you are a healer if you haven't pursued this path yet, you are an energy healer. You can maneuver energy from people. You have perhaps you need to go through a further awakening process, but the energy healing a concept there is within you. You've done this in past lives. You can certainly maneuver things. You are very, very powerful and unique. And once you discover that and believe in yourself, you can certainly heal others. Because I'm hearing it's through your suffering that you have broken through patterns and you have opened doors to healing others. Sometimes when our life has been so filled with various different dramatic events, we think this, this is terrible, this is shocking. But in fact, you are opening portals clearing perhaps a lot of ancestral rubbish that's been sitting there but you guys are coming to the stage now where you're becoming strong and you're going to say no i am now separating i've done whatever i wanted to learn here i'm rejecting the dark and i'm bringing in light into my environment i am doing this for me i'm doing this for the ones i love and I do not accept negative energies around me. This is important because perhaps you become a healer for your family and then later on you might extend that to other people as well. First of all, a lot of you have to learn to create sacred spaces around you. That means doing things that please you. Being creative, doing projects without being interrupted, it, uh, helping yourself understand your journey requires sometimes stillness. It requires us to put this sacred space around ourselves, to have some quality time where we just, we don't even have to be, I'm hearing Archangel Michael saying, we don't even have to be doing this, this meditation every day or um, he's, he's talking to me about just doing things that make you feel you are happy. This for some of you, the sacred space might be that you turn music on and this might be really uplifting music and you're just dancing around the house. You might be sending everybody out and you go, or you're waiting for a time when they all go to work. But don't then just think, okay, now go clean up after everybody why not spend the first hour just doing what you want to do maybe that's just dancing around the house and that is what you need to be doing you can get back to the cleaning afterwards but archangel michael wants you to have this sacred space because some people also get messages when they really relax through the activities that they like to be doing for some of you that might be doing housework while you're dancing, but this is where you got to tap into your energy field and you got to understand what works for you. Uh, this is also when we got to realize that if we don't necessarily like spending a lot of time in deep meditation, 
we can still achieve this sort of state when we're relaxing, when we're perhaps sitting there and we're drawing, we're painting, we're losing ourselves in this activity. Might be craft work. I can just feel everybody relaxing here. It might be craft work and you're just losing yourself in it. Everything is working out and you are intuitively maybe starting to get messages through your thoughts. Whatever you've been thinking about might be a direct message relating to future projects, to family members, to yourself that you needed to know in order to move on. This is also a form of meditation, very important for this group. Because there still seems to be, um, you've been taught a way of living, Archangel Michael is saying here, that you're waiting perhaps for the next drama to come in. You're waiting for things to go wrong. You're thinking, well, yeah, today is good, but what if? Stop the what ifs, because it hasn't happened. No drama has happened yet, so just... Just align your path with good energy, with positive energy. I know it's really hard to do because I used to also always wait for the next drama to come in. I could never relax when things were good. It takes practice. It takes time. It takes us to just channel good energy into our mind, into our thought pattern and taking off the mask. This might be understanding on a deeper level that what we are thinking, how we're going about things is creating our future. We're laying the foundation for the next day, the next week, the next month, the next year. If we're thinking of what drama will come in, the universe is going to respond to that energy field and thinking, okay, they would love some drama. Bam, here we go. We're not going to prevent this. There is a situation now they will probably feel really happy in because they are asking for drama. And that's how we got to look at it. I might, it might seem crazy or weird to some of us, but that's what, what, how the universe works. If they see that we're constantly thinking about something bad, they're going to assume that we want this thing. So this is where you're going to talk to your guides and you're going to say, I'm only allowing good things to come to me. I am not allowing drama to be part of my life. I am rejecting this energy. This is overstepping my own free will, my own wishes. I do not allow drama. Ask Archangel Michael to cut this drama out of your life. Ask him to cut this thought pattern away from you so that you can bring in positive ways of really laying a happy foundation for next day, next week, next month and next year and for the rest of your life. Look, you're transitioning to spirit realm. This is all about your transitioning, your moving on, your understanding your path. This is important. What we've been discussing here this is what will lead you into happier times in your future. Work with Archangel Michael. Allow him to be part of your life. Allow all your spiritual team of light, love and truth to be part of your inner circle so that you can find answers and perhaps relieve some of this anxiety and sadness that is hanging around. All the best and lots of love. Bye for now. Welcome, group number three. Messages from Archangel Michael. Okay. Oh, you are going on a journey of growth. Something around you is definitely shifting. The energy is becoming clearer and brighter. And Archangel Michael is here to help you with that. Let's see, the number 15, if anybody is um, has a special meaning in your life, number 15 stands out to me. I thought I mentioned that to you. I don't pick up anything particular in regards to it, but 15 stands out. You're going on a journey of learning, understanding certain new concepts in your life, and this is really, really good. Even 25, I don't know why these two numbers jump out as soon as I see them. It's like mention these numbers. So 
15, 25, maybe that's when something happened in your life that um, took a, I'm seeing some of you guys had a downturn at that time in your life and now you have healed from most of that. You've come to the place in your life where you're just ready now to learn new things, to expand your energy field. Okay, yes, you are, this is true for you because your energy is just glowing it's just starting to move forward and it's time it's your time now archangel michael is saying to move forward to expand that business to go and take that course to perhaps become a healer of some kind but for those of you if you're already in that field if you're counselors if you're spiritual counselors if you're doing any kind of healing there is a warning coming in from Archangel Michael. This warning is all about people that are coming towards you and you need to set some boundaries. The card itself down the bottom there mentions boundaries. This means that perhaps you, um, your clients that are coming in are going to drain your energy field too much. They're asking too much of you and perhaps they want to connect with you on a deeper level. So instead of it being a professional relationship, they want to become your friend and they want to be so close that because of your beautiful nature, you might be allowing this. And this is not good for you. You have to be, you have to examine things. You really have to work along with Archangel Michael and say, is this person good for me personally? Can I trust them to become my friend? Because you might feel a deeper connection to some. Because I do see that there is a few, perhaps one stands out to me a lot, that will become very close to you because as we are working we are going to meet people and we're going to really have that strong bond past life relationships there's deeper soul connections and there's nothing wrong with becoming friends but you also got a lot of people out there that are going to be draining your energy if you're working along with that this is your time where you really need to keep it professional i'm hearing um, set those boundaries in place. You don't have to be harsh about it, but you have to send that message. This is what Archangel Michael wants to let you know if this resonates with your current situation. The reason being is because you are now transforming to such a high level. You are raising your standards perhaps as well that your journey is one that is com where you're committing to happiness. And some of the people along your path, yes, you are there to help and heal, but then you are to separate your energy field from them. Perhaps this is also an understanding that if you're working in this field, after each client, ask Archangel Michael to remove that court connection that you have formed dur during your sessions. This is important because the, otherwise you're still attached to their energy field and you are absorbing their energy continuously, even if it's only a small part of it. But you imagine after a week, two weeks, three weeks, you are so bombarded with little bits of other people's energy that you are going to feel sick. Very important um, that you do that. Realize who you are. You are moving on. You're um, really elevating to higher understandings, higher position. Um, you are, your healings are working. <laughs> so if you're wondering, hey, am I making a difference in other people's lives? Am I actually what I'm doing here energetically? Perhaps you do have a business, this group. Is this working for people? Yes, it is. You are not um, to stick to traditional ways of healing though. You are to implement your own ideas because this will be more powerful in the um, the way your healing is, is definitely more powerful than just your normal traditional ideas or the way you've learned in the past. If you see something that you need to remove, remove it. 
you are helping, you're healing, but you got to be unique to your own abilities, talents, gifts that you've had from many lifetimes. They're surfacing. Use them. There is a big transformation going on in your personal life as well. The Even if you're only doing little bits to nourish the people around you, to heal them, to bring light to a situation, it's working. Keep doing it. Even if you think, oh, I don't really have time to spend a long time on it. Whatever you're doing, even if it is perhaps asking Archangel Michael to protect your family, even that, asking simple steps like that will help your family. There is a big transformation coming in for those of you that have been working on your family unit. You are feeding good, healthy energy into this unit and it is working. They are shifting. They are moving forwards as well. 35 numbers. I don't know what it is with these numbers. 15 and the 5 is involved in all of them. So 15, 25 and now 35 I'm seeing. Let me know if this makes sense to you because I know I have to mention it to you, but I don't know anything associated with that. It's um, the universe is just smiling down at you, thinking how how good you're doing, how beautiful you are, how you're accomplishing things. It's just, you know, what it reminds me of when um, a child comes home and they have just um, passed something or they got recognition for something. They have just moved forwards with their life and. They're perhaps they've done a course, they've finished university, something like that. And you as the parent are feeling so, so proud of their accomplishments as well. And you really, your heart just rejoices. That's what I'm feeling here the universe is doing with you. They're looking down and saying, look, you're doing so well. Remember to ground your energy because this is all about Mother Earth grounding your energy. This will help you in your mental activity as well. Grounding can clear a lot of negative thoughts. So practicing that on a regular basis. If you can't be outside, do it energetically by visualization techniques of taking a bath in the earth, um, growing tree roots, becoming a tree, nurturing plants, whatever it is that connects you with Mother Gaia because that is very, very important. Because in the future, I'm seeing you will need to do this a lot more, especially if you're growing a spiritually based business here. Okay, hidden blessings. They're blocked. They came in upside down. Hidden blessings. Archangel Michael wants to make you aware of hidden blessings. How can we unblock them? That's what we need to know. Let's work on that together. For this group, how can they unblock these hidden blessings here? Okay, connecting with your spiritual team, asking them to bring them in. Have you ever just, okay, this is, this is really good, prayer and contemplation. Just sit down and sometimes we go through a certain ritual, but we don't understand that we can ask for blessings to come in now. We might think, oh, I wonder when the universe will bring in new blessings, but why not just ask? This is what comes out. It's saying ask, pray about it, and the blessings that are meant to be coming in that are sitting there, they will start presenting themselves. Is this the only blockage though? It seems very, it seems like a very small thing, but um, Asking also means, and this is Archangel Michael directly coming in, trusting that these blessings will come your way. Perhaps some of you, okay, there's a different concept here I'm hearing. Some of you, if you have asked for blessings and they haven't appeared yet, trust because Archangel Michael is saying you are safe, the, the angels are close, Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. 
So Archangel Michael is directly there, standing next to you, saying, look, we're working behind the scenes. And I did that recently too. I was um, wanting to achieve something, and it's been a long time in coming. And I said to my guys, I said, it feels like I'm standing still. And then I meditated on it, and they opened a portal where I could see the activity that was going on behind the scenes. And oh my God, there is so much going on. I can't actually wait for the future. It's like amazing what they're doing up there. But we often don't see it. And because I was getting a bit annoyed and frustrated and saying, it doesn't feel like it down here. It feels like I'm doing this thing and I'm doing the same thing over again. And then they reminded me of the things that I've already changed and what they are doing and what they are aligning and how they are maneuvering things so that this thing that I wanted to create can come into my life. This is what I'm seeing for you guys as well. There is your team is working there, but they need you to trust. Archangel Michael is saying, just trust. You might have trusted for a long time, but it's not quite ready yet. Because what also can help you is higher learning, understanding things perhaps from a universal's point of view. Perhaps what I was saying to you just before, knowing that your team is working there for you behind the scenes, helps you understand that sometimes things here on earth seem very slow but they will all of a sudden there'll be big shifts coming in it's like you've been waiting for something and this has happened to me as well where you've been making a big choice and you want to move on but it never sort of happens and then one day you just pack that bag and you just saying this is it this is it i've got to go that's the sign that everything is now aligned and your guides are saying you are ready. You're ready to go. Things are going to be working out in your favor. All you got to do is take the action that you're feeling right now inside of you. And look, there's just um, either an ambulance or police going by. So it must be time. It's like, there you go. Warning lights are on. If you haven't taken action, Towards that, this is very, very important, you guys, because you have learned from past experiences, but more inner study is now required to further your progress. Perhaps this is where the blockage lies for your blessings, that you don't trust your inner self, your intuition, your understanding, you feel like will mislead you. Well, Archangel Michael is here to tell you that this will certainly not be the case. You need to build up your inner fire. Look at that, your inner strength. That's what's needed for these blessings to come in. They're sitting there. Yes, some of you just simply need to ask. For others, it's a bit deeper. Trusting, understanding, moving forwards is, is the key in lear even learning. I'm, I'm hearing learning that there is... A different energy out there than what we experience in our 3D reality. So if you're really based in, in your own world, if you're just looking even fearfully as to what's happening in our world, there is so many negative situations out here in the world politically as well as our health. This is all a very big fear-based energy and can block our own inner strength. If we're listening to a lot of news reports, I would actually suggest don't listen to them too much because the news will distort things, first of all. Secondly, it keeps you in a lot of fear-based energy. So perhaps you could limit the amount of um, times that you are watching this kind of fear-based energy being brought to you. Yes, it is good to understand, to know what's going on, but you will know when you're becoming perhaps obsessed with that type of news and you're on it all the time and you're looking at different articles and trust me, some of those will be confusing and they will be misleading in their information. 
stick to also your your understanding your truth and if you feel very passionate about something send it light send it love send it healing you can certainly do that but make sure that you build up your inner power your inner strength not from a fear-based energy that we are constantly bombarded with but from a higher understanding higher learning different energy fields out there and what you couldn't have gotten a better card here downloads and understandings this is perhaps where your blessings are being held up in as well that you're not accepting these downloads you're not accepting what they're telling you inside therefore you're not acting on it and all these blessings can't come in sometimes it's as simple as um just taking that next little step it doesn't even have to be a big step but the next little step towards something that will then make you get drawn to the bigger step and it becomes easier We're just going to switch the cards here and see what else is happening here. Okay, for you guys, it is also important to improvise. Improvise when something isn't flowing. It's as though you got to swim out to that boat that you just missed and then you will get to your destination yes you got wet you had to put in some big effort there and you hoped and trusted that the boat would throw over a um, ladder of some kind so you could climb up and get onto the boat but this is what the universe this is what archangel michael is talking about that if it's not directly in front of you and you're going i'm just waiting again i'm waiting until it's easy Perhaps this doesn't get any easier. Perhaps this is your understanding of now moving forwards, of jumping into that water, swimming out to that boat and saying, please take me with you because I need to be out of here. This is what's happening. Improvising is an important thing. Don't think that, or sometimes we do think that. We think, okay, I want to achieve something, but I'm just going to wait for that knock on my door. Well, the knock has probably already happened deep inside of you, but you need to kickstart this now. You need to align yourself with that sort of energy. You need to see the bigger picture. Don't look at the here, now and the drama of everything and even the worry about everything look at the bigger picture create this bigger picture for yourself and understanding that you can certainly achieve things make things align for you by already visualizing that they are aligning this is how you connect the dots this is how you put good energy into your future and this is how your energy field will find look at that will find your motivation because you're constantly telling yourself, yes, I, I'm doing this. I have already achieved this in my mind. I'm already in a different place. I have um, packed my bags. I'm ready to go. And this is where you will be giving birth to new ideas, new understandings, new concepts, new things just entering your life. It's a rebirth. It's nurturing yourself, understanding to put yourself first. And Archangel Michael is here to help you. Some of you, maybe you have wondered, should I, should I start a family? Should I go for it? Will I ever start a family? Yes, you should. Yes, you will. But you got to align your life in order so that you can reach that goal you got to be in a place in your life where bringing in a child is uh is going to fit in and you're not going to be so crazy busy that the child will be brought up in an environment that will produce that same sort of craziness around it that everybody's always busy mum's running away dad's doing this and the whole thing is like oh okay who's looking after me or somebody else is coming in you're not giving the child an environment of stability 
and safety, security, peace and love. You have to obviously work with your own circumstances. This does not mean that you're going to have to be at home with the child. This is just the environment that you are creating around the child is very important. Perhaps you can work on a part-time basis and spend certain days with your child this is where you have to look deep inside of how you run your life, how you're, how you're ticking, I'm hearing, how it all works for you. But remember how you are, you're giving part of that to your child. Had I known this when I had my kids, I would have changed a few things because it would have certainly produced much better energy. But um, with you, if you haven't got children yet, and if you're thinking about it, if you can produce a beautiful environment around you, you feel internally at peace with yourself, your child will thank you for that environment and that kind of love that you're showing them even before they are born. Let's switch the cards up and see if there is anything else that wants to come out. Yes, that one straight away. So expect some miracles in your life. Miracles are important. We already seen that there have been some blockages, but just expect them. This also goes in harmony with what we have talked about by asking for these miracles. Asking and expecting is is very important and you might not have even really thought about it like that because we can ask and then we lose hope but if you just expect it as though yep of course in my case I'm always saying to myself I'm a very lucky person especially when things don't go quite so good I'm a very lucky person this circumstance is just going to resolve itself something better is going to come in expect miracles just allow yourself to be in that energy field and you don't have to always succeed straight away i still don't succeed every time something happens and i go and freak out a little bit till i pull myself back again and say harry you know this stuff what are you going back down the old past life way here or even in this life you recognize that this pattern is bad and now you're starting it again. So don't don't feel bad if you're doing it. I'm still doing it. But we get better and better and better each and every day. And something great is going to happen. There, there might be people around you that um, could help you out. But you need to ask them if this applies to somebody. If you're very busy and you're just waiting for people to recognize that you're busy, guess what? They're not going to see it. They've got their eyes shut to it. Ask them. You have to directly approach them. If this is work and you're just thinking, okay, they'll know that they have overloaded me with all this work and I cannot perform um, at a level that would produce good work here with this kind of uh, workload that they're giving me. Okay, ask tell them let them know saying okay what when do you want this done by you realize it takes this amount to do this physically it's not possible for me to um, do all these different tasks here perhaps make them aware and then they might recognize okay yes everybody's been giving you little bits not realizing that this is all adding up to your workload and you can't physically do all of this this also might be within your family that you have to ask because people are just not going to see it. They're not going to recognize it. This is just a side point that Archangel Michael wanted you to know for those of you that this makes sense. But we have discussed so many different things here for you and I'm hoping that you will get some answers here that you were looking for. Wishing you all the best and work along with that beautiful Archangel, Archangel Michael, who is there looking after you currently. Bye for now. Welcome group number four. What is the message from Archangel Michael? You need to come back to center yourself, coming back to reality. What does that mean for you?
coming back to reality where are you why aren't you in reality this is what we need to be finding out you've made a mistake and you feel like wow you really feel like you want to jump off this cliff this is something where perhaps you feel so guilty about something and this is even in here look at yourself you're looking down you're feeling so guilty Archangel Michael wants you to understand that there was a higher purpose to whatever you perceive to be a mistake and something you feel so guilty about. You are dancing with, with the universe here. That means that something needed to be released. This could be that you have done something or acted a certain way and then you think, Perhaps this person didn't deserve this. But this person, what you're not understanding is that this person has done a lot of harm, perhaps in past lives. And this is a karmic cycle. And the universe is using you to, to do something or to act in a certain way that produces some karma. But you're not aware of this. Archangel Michael is here to tell you basically that whatever happened whatever guilt you're carrying this was meant to be it was written in your akashic records it was one of those things you could not change we can change a lot of things but there's certain things that you volunteer to do to help universal energy to to serve karma perhaps on somebody else of course all your situations are different but you had to do this in order to bring light back into perhaps somebody else's world your world um, I can't be specific because of so many of you but trust me this thing you're feeling guilty about that some of you feel like you want to jump off this cliff you just want to end it all don't do that because you've done the right thing a lot of you you've done the right thing here and you've you have yes i can i can reassure you of this because what what they're showing me here is that this is not just this lifetime I already felt that this is many lifetimes the cycles to me represent many lifetimes and in this lifetime you finally wanted to break a family karmic pattern and this is the way it perhaps needed to be done if you really examine things maybe if this perhaps was something of an addictive nature that you have overcome that means you for the family now for this family lineage this history you've overcome that you were the one that broke this cycle that is forever keeping on going and your future children and the generations to come will not have to face this themselves because you've managed to break it yes everybody has to live their own life but now they're all being given a certain chance so this is an example i'm wanting to give you so you understand how the universe works how energy works and it might have been extremely painful for you but by you breaking it through your own suffering you have helped so many generations to come this might be something else you're feeling guilty about but whatever happened there might have been darker energy involved here and you needed to clear a path trust me this is this is good this is not bad if you're viewing it as bad archangel michael is here to tell you stop putting this dark energy around yourself look you're surrounding yourself with pain and dark energy because of it and yet it is freedom whatever that means for your family for yourself for future generations it produced freedom and you couldn't interesting i chose this deck here and in that deck there was one card from a different deck that was stuck in there guess what that's all about it is about endings and new beginnings you have brought in an an ending to something that was very toxic that was making your family sick 
that was making generation six she's all green she's not feeling well this girl you needed to change something archangel michael is here to take this feeling of guilt number four that you are experiencing and to release it please listen to this angel because he is here even i'm hearing to rescue you from yourself from your thoughts work on that clear your energy work with nature summon the rain be outside in a rainstorm perhaps just make sure you are safe if it's a severe one perhaps you pick one that is is not so severe that you can stand in and that where the wind and the rain are just going to sweep this guilt this pain away from you because look guys honestly what i'm seeing here if you're listening to this you've been drawn to this for a reason this needs to come to the surface this needs to be revealed to you you are a very caring and compassionate person there is nothing that indicates that you are serving terrible karma on whatever it is you're feeling guilty about or that you are even needing to feel guilty about that you have something important to share though follow your inner calling and don't let anything stop you perhaps you needed to share something about a situation that had been um needed to be uncovered i'm hearing hidden truth hidden things that would have been hidden for many more lifetimes and you're the one that had to unlock it you are a healer a teacher somebody who needed to clear the path for others as well this is very important sometimes i full, don't fully understand everything that i'm hearing but i'm going to just tell you what i see what i hear because it is very important for you to also connect on a deeper level to your inner voice your inner voice is guiding you in the right direction when you're in fear-based energy panic energy guilty energy that's not your inner voice that's the fear that's the darkness pushing in on you saying feel guilty about that you you don't want to release this from your family line you want to be stuck in the darkness but that is not where you need to be you want to bring in light you want to say no my increased awareness on this subject on the higher understanding makes you pushes you to reveal these things to to stop something perhaps this is so so important and if you haven't known this before archangel michael is here to tell you that you have um changed so many things energetically through your actions here but now it's important for you to move beyond your current worries and focus on what you desire so obviously you need to come out of this guilt you know already that this isn't bad like you were always thinking about it in a bad sense but now we need to bring in something new you need to work on what you want to accomplish in this life this will help with the guilt because if we're always sitting and stewing and thinking this is not good because it is a completion look at that completion you have completed it it is done it is finished now is the time for you to consciously complete it send it all do do what this girl here is doing send it all to mother earth tell mother earth that this is now completed the cycle is gone it's released and you're releasing yourself from it <laughs> <laughs> you will make it look look at you guys they're flying high doing whatever you want to do so your future here looks bright in the future you won't even remember this thing anymore 
you will be moving on but the only way to move on is to create new possibilities for yourself to go out there and look at positive opportunities what is it that you always wanted to do is it available to you i know we have restrictions with COVID at the moment but can you join groups can you learn something new can you get a new job can you do something that changes things that brings in this new energy can you think about having a family getting yourself ready for having a family and think about your future how this how you want your future to be what new things do you want to give birth to maybe this is not to do with a family maybe this is projects you want to um, start you want to complete them for some of you i have to tell you that you need to slow down some of you might be overactive you might be having too many kids or <laughs> you're birthing too many ideas because this is where you need to make it fit your situation it's important that you, you lose this guilt. We know that that is what's blocking a lot of things in your life. But you need to open yourself to deeper psychic insights. Your third eye is open, but you need to see the truth for what it is and follow your intuition. Remember, fear, guilt, um, anything like that, anxiety is not your intuition that is negative energy that you are either producing yourself or you're having negative energy always pushing in on you from other people and telling you to feel this way set boundaries protect your energy field clear your energy field have some salt baths or showers very very important you, your prayers have been heard, whatever you prayed about, it has been heard. Perhaps this is the answer. This is part of the answer to your prayers. Maybe this is coming in a form that makes it easier for you to understand. And expect miracles. Look, Archangel Michael is saying your future does look very good. There is miracles happening in your future. You will be okay. That's what it looks like to me. You will be okay, but to get to that, you need to face your fear uh, because there's changes coming in. Your energy field will naturally want to produce more fear because that's what you've been living in or perhaps guilt. Don't allow that. For you, as far as fear and guilt, you've got to fight against it. Oftentimes we hear about the fight and flight when it comes to fear and anxiety. But in your case, this fear is based on you keeping it there. You're allowing it. With you, there needs to be the inner warrior that does awaken and remove this fear. You have to pick up Archangel Michael's sword and literally cut this fear away from you. Cut this guilt away from you. You cannot just... With you guys, you cannot go with the flow in that sense. I hope you understand that because going with the flow obviously is very important, but not for you guys. You have to be actively telling yourself through affirmations that you are fine, that you're cutting this away. You have to be an active participant to make this go away, to help your subconscious understand that you don't, you don't accept this. But through your, I guess, constant worry about the guilt, this thing that happened, you have produced such a worried subconscious energy within you that now you need to bombard it with positive energy to retrain your subconscious mind. The subconscious, once it grabs something, it wants to hold on to it unless we do the opposite and we are putting in all this new energy. Every day, a few times a day, show yourself that you can do this. Tell yourself that you can do this. Very important. Focused intention. That's what I was feeling. It wasn't this uh, feeling of you just got to be a passive energy towards all of this no you need to be active you need to be alive in producing all this good stuff around you inside inside and out i'm hearing archangel michael is there to help you with that because remember also that you are on a path take one step 
at a time to happiness and it will go you will find your happiness but it takes you your effort it takes your patience it takes your desire for this to go call in protection i also seen that for you guys so protection is important for you learn everything you can about energetic protection practice it this will help your energy field not to get bombarded by new new negative energies that might be out there waiting to be connecting with you protection will prevent all of that ascension yes move on to your true self doing all of this you will find that you will think about things differently you will rise above the darkness the light is here look at that archangel michael is confirming that this is such a beautiful reading here and if you're not convinced yet i will pull one more card for you i'm sure this card will give you the confidence to understand that there is nothing you need to be guilty about that you need to beat yourself up about continuously now the card that we have picked here is all about you taking back control of your life because there is probably so many external factors that are controlling you at the moment don't let them you take back control you will move on you have lots of angelic support you can do this trust believe and fight for your freedom it sounds strong but with you you're freeing yourself from this energy you're freeing yourself perhaps from a many many lifetimes of carrying this burden but you can do it just believe and ask Archangel Michael to stand right next to you. All the best to you guys and lots of love. Bye for now.